So I was mentioning that Microsoft have released a new solution file format, which is SLNX versus SLN. So this is the solution file format. We ordered one which has been in Visual Studio for a long time, and we've had the new one in 2025. And the question is, do we use this format or this format? The question is, how do they compare? I have two solution files open. This is the new one. You can see the project is listed here. This is the path to the project. So this is the solution name, and then this is the actual project name, and then you have another project in here. If we look at the old format, this is what the old format looks like. So so you can see there's some information around format version. There is information around minimum studio version that it's compatible with. Then you have these GUID IDs, and then you could this global section around release, and then some more GUID information. So this is the format that existed. As you can see, it's pretty much a text-based format. Um, there is some structure to it. These are the properties, and then they have a value separated by an equal sign. If we look at the new format, you can see it's XML based. So you have the solution node there, and then you've got the attribute project path, and that is shown here. So this is much more simpler, you'll probably see why the information such as bbook, any CPU, 64, 86, release, any CPU, why is that information not in the new format? It's because it's unnecessary. You don't really need to specify some default values such as this, any CPU, x64, x86, they will do it for you behind the scenes. This is much more human readable format rather than this one. And because of these GUIDs and various other things, when you are trying to use a version management software such as Git, you might have problems with these, while with this one, actually, you can see what it's doing, it's more readable, and you can see when the changes will likely to happen to this file, which means you're not going to get any merge conflicts as such in your code. So going back to the question, what is the new format compared to the normal one? Then you can see it's just much more cleaner. This is the pretty much all the information that you get there. There is some additional attributes and nodes that are available, but those are added as and when needed rather than by default. And as you can see, this is much more verbose, so this is much easier to read and manage. And Microsoft have released a new, they have released a new GitHub repository which allows you to work with the new and the old file format so here you can see um what this git repository does uh you can see samples on how to use it and so on so i hope this makes sense and i've answered the question how do they compare against the old one and what does the new one look like so you can see it's much more simpler